Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to go ahead and share with you my Christmas polishes. Every day during the month of December I do wear a Christmas manicure. Some of these polishes aren't necessarily Christmas polishes, but I do wear them for Christmas. So let's go and get started. I'll start with what's on my nails. This is 90 Twinkle Lights, and this is a really nice silver holographic. And then it has these transparent glitters. So because they're transparent, they peek through that silver base and they just look like glowing lights on the nails. And then the accent nail is Colors de Carol, and this is Vintage Lights. This is a nice silver glitter with a bunch of the rainbow glitters. So they're very similar. This is hollow and this is just glitter, but really, really nice. And then I have Kringle All the Way by Katie Shimmer. This is a really fun glitter topper. Has a bunch of red, green, and silver circles in different um, sizes, and then it has little tiny, um, can you see them? Little tiny glitters, and it's in a clear base, so this is really nice over reds, greens, whites. Really, really fun top. I really like this one. I will usually just wear this on like one or two nails because they are heavy glitter, so they can be, you know, kind of hard to remove. And this one, I've never even worn, and I was gonna declutter it. This is Glitter All the Way by um, China Glaze. I decided to give it one more try, and if I don't wear it this year, then I'm going to be decluttering it in January. I'm gonna be doing a, a nail polish declutter in January. Um, I don't know, this is on a lot of people's favorites list. I don't know why I never wear it. Um, it's a nice basic glitter, but I just, I've never worn it, so I need to try to wear it this season. And then this one is Ho Ho No um, by China Glaze from the Grinch Collection, so cute. This is a nice red cream, and then it has a ton of gold shimmer. Really, really nice polish. Nice formula, it's really pretty. This one is Ruby by KB Shimmer. She has this collection, um, I forget what it's called, I think it's like flame something or another, where it's, um, I don't even really know how to describe it. They're not, they're not flakies, they're just like little tiny broken up, I don't know, glitter pieces, they're just, they're so sparkly. They're just, they're intense. And so they'll have like a base color and then they just have a ton of these like shimmers that shine through. So, so pretty. I've never actually worn this during the holidays. So I just put this in my Christmas bucket. I have, this is my holiday bucket. Um, I just put this in there this year thinking that this would actually be perfect for the holidays. So I'm gonna be wearing this one soon. And this one is Viridian. Yeah, Viridian by Illamasqua. This one, um, I was going to get rid of. I was going to declutter. I actually, when I did my declutter at the beginning of the year, or, you know, beginning of, like, March or something like that, um, I was going to declutter half of my Illamascas, and then Olga from Instagram, my friend on Instagram, she convinced me to keep them because they've all, like, Illamasca has been discontinued, basically. So I decided to put this in my Christmas bucket so I could try to get more use out of it. Um, it's like a, it's not your typical, like, Christmas green, in my opinion. So that's why I thought, you know, this could be like something different and interesting. So I'll go ahead and give this a try this um, holiday season. And then this one is a favorite topper. This is actually my second bottle. This is Candy Cane Crush by KB Shimmer. And these are just really interesting um, red and white, what would you call those? Hex hexagons, I guess? Yeah, hexagons. They're like little stop sign, um, stop sign sizes. Um, shape and then it has a bunch of like little teeny ones and it's in a clear base so this is really nice over reds over greens i really um oh, i'll show you i'll show you the polish next what i wear it over um also would be really nice for valentine's day if you do i don't do valentine's nails but if you did this would look really nice over pink and then for christmas this is usually my christmas manicure i will wear this and i will wear it over glittering garland by china glaze this is a beautiful green Class fleck, so so beautiful. But you see how like this is what I would consider more like a Christmas green compared to this. You see how they're vastly different. But this one is just so nice, you guys. I wear this every year. I love it. And then these two together is just so so nice. And this one is actually a Halloween polish. This is Tomato Onslaught by Dollish Polish. But it's just a really nice red and green mix glitters, uh, opaque glitters. Um, it's not like it's not a topper. Um, but this is actually from her Why Can't Every Day Be Halloween series um, from last year. But I just think this is really fun for Christmas. Um, it's just something different. Again, it's kind of like this, how it's not 
oh, maybe these two would look really nice together. I could wear these together. Um, not your typical, like when you look at this, it doesn't scream Christmas, but I really like it, so I think it's something different for Christmas. And then this, this is your typical green cream. This is Jada's New Black by OPI. Really nice formula. Um, unfortunately, this falls victim to the ugly bottle syndrome that a lot of greens do. You know how it separates and looks like yellow in the bottle, but on the nails, it still is green. This is just a really nice, basic green cream for Christmas. Beautiful. This one, I just put this one in my bucket because I was going to declutter it and I decided to try to give it give it a try this holiday. Um, this is Electrify by China Glaze. Just really nice golden golden red glitters. It's a glitter topper. Um, but I just, I never really wear it. So I thought if I don't wear it this season, then I'll declutter it. Again, not your typical, like doesn't scream Christmas to me, but because it is red and gold, I thought I could try to wear it this season. Um, the next one is Santa Claus Will Punish You. This is by Dollish Polish. This is a really nice red base and then it has little green glitters in there. So you can see how they're both like red and green. They're both red and green, but they just look different. It's really interesting. But this one is more what I would consider Christmas than this. And this one is Santa Suit by 9-0. This is a red base and then it has a bunch of silver? Are they silver or gold? I can't even tell to be honest. It's hard to tell and I haven't worn this one. I don't think I wore this one last year so I wore it the year before. This one is a little bit of a gritty glitter so... Oops, I still got it. <laughs> Excuse him, I gave him a bone so he's coughing on his bone, I guess. Um, anyways, this is um, a nice, bright red, sparkly red. Nice, bright, sparkly red. And this one, another one by 9-0, this one is Sugar Cookie. This is a white crelly, and then it has just a bunch of green, green and red shards, and then gold glitters. Really, really nice, I like this one. Okay, this one is another Dollish Polish. This is the world's most pissed off snow cone. Snow cone. This was actually from her Why Can't Every Day Be Halloween series. Um, but this one just screams Christmas to me. It's a really nice, like grayish, whitish gray base. Then it has um, blue glitters and then it has little teeny tiny sparkles, like little teeny tiny silver sparkles. This one is really pretty, really nice in the winter time. Not just for Christmas, but just in the winter. Winter in, in general is really nice. And this one is another um, glitter topper, really nice glitter topper by 9-0. This one is Stocking Stuffer. This one she re-releases every year, at least she has so far. This is a really nice um, topper. It's got green, it's got white, it's got silver, it's got red. It's got gold in there. It's in a clear base. It's got a nice um, ratio to ba base and glitter. So really, really nice. I like this one. This one is not actually a Christmas polish. This was supposed to be a Halloween polish um, by Native War Paints, and this is the Man of My Dreams. Hi, Dakota. Um, this is a green, like glitter um, jelly base, like jellyish, and then it has. Hey, Dakota, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, so it has red and gl green glitters, and then it has green bar glitters. So this is supposed to be um, based off of Freddy Krueger, right? He's the one that wears the red and green sweater, the stripes, and he haunts you in your dreams, right? Or is that Jason? I never was into horror movies. I can't do them, but Freddy Krueger, the one that haunts your dreams, yeah. Um, this one I just think is a really fun Christmas glitter. I never wear this for Halloween. I always wear it for Christmas. I think it's really fun. Bye. He's very, um, he's been very antsy lately. He just paces a lot. He cries a lot. Can't really figure out what's going on with him. Bye. This one is Yuletide by Reverie. I got this one on Etsy several years ago. This is a nice green, um, what's it called? A Crelly, and then it has just a bunch of like rainbow glitters. I don't necessarily think these are 
like Christmas colors. It's got red, it's got, I mean, it's got pink, it's got yellow, it's got blue. It's not like your typical red and green polish. Um, so that's why I think it's um, different and it's interesting. And it does have an okay formula. I usually will wear this in three coats. This one is really nice. Um, I've had to thin this one a couple times. This is Toyland by Different Dimensions. I love this one. I'm not really into like gold glitter, like gold polishes, but this is one that I really do love. And this is just an, um, like a gold base, and then it has a ton of red, green. It looks like there's blue in there too. Red, green, blue, silver glitters. So, so fun. Um, I noticed when I checked out her site before I was contemplating getting Black Friday polishes, but I didn't, um, that this, I think, yeah, this was on her site again. So I guess this is another polish that she resells every year because it's very popular. Um, it is it is good. I've re-thinned it several times over the last couple years. It is like, look, it's getting really thick and gloopy. I should probably replace it, but for now, you know, I can still wear it. <laughs> And then this one is not necessarily a Christmas polish. This is Sapphire by 9-0. Um, it's just a, a blue glitter and a clear base. And this is a nice topper over like a white. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was something different that I could wear for Christmas. I wore this last year sometime. And then I get a lot of com um, comments saying that it looks, when you wear it with white or silver, that it looks like Hanukkah nails. So go figure. And then this one is Holly Back Girl by KB Shimmer, another favorite. This is a white curly base, and then it has these really pretty red and green glitters. Then it's got little teeny tiny, tiny glitters. And this one is really fun. It's a really nice Christmas curly. I wear this one every year. I love this one. Okay, this one is Twinkle Lights by China Glaze. This one is a favorite glitter. I need a new one, but I, I can't find them anywhere. This is getting so so gloopy. I've thinned it out so many times over the last couple years and it's just I can't find it anywhere. This is a really nice red, green, and gold basic glitter, but I love this. Um, it's not quite sheer enough to wear it as a topper. I mean, sometimes I will try to wear it as a topper over like a red, um, but it is pretty opaque, so a lot of times the red will just like barely peek through. But this is just a really beautiful um, accent nail. It's really, really nice. I love this one. This one is Jiminy Christmas by Girly Bits. This one is so beautiful, you guys. Um, I bought this one a few years ago after... She doesn't have a channel anymore. She used to lead her channel, but it was Lindsay Does Nails. She was always raving about this as being her favorite Christmas polish. And I specifically went out and bought this. Dakota's back. <laughs> So, so beautiful. You guys get, look, it's getting gloopy too. Oh, I'm so sad. All my favorite Christmas polishes are getting thick and gloopy. But this is just a really beautiful, beautiful, sparkly green glittery polish. It's just, it's so beautiful. I love it. Wait till you see the pictures. It's just so, so pretty. This one is Pining for Gold, Pining for Glitter by China Glaze. And this is a really nice green glitter topper. It's in a clear base. So this looks really nice over reds, whites, whatever you want. Really, really pretty. Over gold, it's really, really nice. This is a favorite, you guys. I love this polish so much. This is actually my unopened bottle. I bought two. Um, this is Dollish Polish. This is Fragili. Must be Italian. I love this polish, you guys. I bought this off of her Etsy site a couple years ago, and then I loved it so much that I went on and I ordered another one because when they're on her Etsy site, that means they're discontinued, they're gone. So I bought another one um, so that I would always have a second one. And it's a good thing because my first bottle, I actually have had to declutter now because it's gone thick and gloopy. But this one is just so fun, you guys. It's these bright gold glitters and then red and green glitters. It's just your basic, you know, Christmas glitter. But it's just so fun, you guys. It's so beautiful. And the name, Fragili, must be Italian. I just, I love it so much. It's If you know that what movie that's from, comment down below. It's just, I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's probably... Yeah, I mean, I have several that I love so much, but this is definitely a top favorite. Okay, the next one, this I got last year. This is Grinch Worthy from the China Glaze Grinch Collection. So cute, you guys. Um, this is just a nice, kind of like a grass green. And then it has all that shimmer, like glass fleck shimmer. So, so beautiful. Look at how sparkly that is. 
This isn't the type of like the shade of green that I typically would wear. In fact, I didn't even order this one. Last year I ordered from, um, I forget what the website's called. It's where I get um, my mostly my discounted OPI, but um, I usually don't get China Glaze from there, but I did get a couple China Glazes last year. And she sent me the wrong polish. I ordered a couple um, from the Grinch. Like I ordered this one, this one is the one I ordered, and then I ordered um, a pink one, and instead she accidentally sent me this one. And I liked it so much that I ended up just keeping it, and then she sent me the one that I actually ordered. So the one that I ordered is Resting Grinch Face, and this is a nice glitter topper. And this one has blues, greens, golds, reds, in like medium size, and then it has, you can't really tell because it's jam-packed, but then there's like little tiny ones in there too. It's just a really nice um, glitter topper, I like this one. Okay, you guys, my last polish. This is Christmas AF by Rogue Lacquer, and this is a really nice gold glitter. Then it has little red and green and gold shards, shard glitters, shard flakies. Really, really pretty, you guys, I like this one. This one's actually um, very comparable to Toyland by different dimensions. Really, really nice, I like this one. I got this one um, this year. I think I got it this year, yeah, because I only started wearing Rogue Lacquer, buying from Rogue Lacquer, Rogue Lacquer this year. So I bought this one. This one year was like on clearance. I just thought this was perfect Christmas polish. All right, guys, so those are all of my Christmas polishes. Let me know down below what your favorite ones are. If you like to wear holiday nails, do you only wear them, you know, like one or two days before Christmas? Leave any comments down below. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.